Hey, I'm Dr. Mike Roussel, and in this installment of Ask Dr. Mike, we're going to be answering a question that was submitted to the support desk asking, how can I calculate macronutrients? Today we're going to go through some basic calculations on how to calculate macronutrients. So first things first, what are macronutrients and what do we even mean by calculating them? So macronutrients compared to say micronutrients, which are like vitamins and minerals, macronutrients are larger nutrients, being proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and also alcohol. So alcohol, when you're calculating your macronutrients or your macros, as people uh, will refer to them as, usually we leave alcohol out right? Because most people aren't scripting alcohol into their diets. So we're going to leave out alcohol out and just focus specifically on carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. All right. I'm going to use an example of a 2000 calorie diet just because it makes the math a little bit easier, but you can insert whatever you want here for your, for your calorie needs. And then we'll go through, you know, how to calculate it. So the first step with calculating your macronutrients is determining what's your macronutrient breakdown. And this is based on percents of total calories, right? So usually how I start with clients is I start with a 40, 30, 30 breakdown. So that would be 40% carbohydrates, 30% proteins, and 30% fats. Now this is a good starting place for just about everyone. And then you can adjust your macronutrients based on how your body is responding to the diet. Now this is something, the macronutrient calculation, and then adjusting macronutrients is something that I go into in great detail in Your Naked Nutrition Guide, uh, which you can check out at my site, microcell.com. But I'll show you how to do the initial calculation. So if we're going to do 40% calories from carbohydrates, the other piece of information that we need to know is that one gram of carbohydrates contains four calories. For proteins, it's also four calories per gram. And then fats, which are the most dense, the most calorie dense, there are nine calories per gram. Because in the end, the numbers that we want are going to be how many grams of each of these macronutrients are we going to be shooting for each day. So if we do the math here, we're going to start with 2,000 calories. Okay, and then we're going to multiply this by 0 0.40, right, so essentially by 40%. And then we're going to take that number and we're going to divide that by 4 calories per gram. We say 2,000 times 0.4 is going to give us 800 calories. Then we take that 800 calories, put it right there, and then we say 800 calories divided by 4 calories per gram, and that's going to give us 200 grams of carbohydrates per day. So now to do this with proteins and fats, we're going to essentially do the same thing, but just plugging in those different numbers. So I'll do that right now, and then we'll come back and kind of wrap the whole thing up. Okay, so we did all the math really fast, and what we have here for protein, you see we took 2,000 calories times 0.3, because we want 30% of our calories from protein gives us 600 calories. We divide that by four, because there are four calories per gram, and that gives us 150 grams of protein. So with fats, you know, we want 30% from fats, so again, we're at the same 600 calories. But because fats are more calorie dense, we divide by nine, and you get 66.6, .6, so say between 66 and 67 grams of fat per day. So if you wanted to eat 2,000 calories per day, and you were doing 40, 30, 30, you would end up eating 200 grams of carbs, 150 grams of protein, and say 66 or 67 grams of fat per day. Okay? So that's kind of what macronutrients are, the major macronutrients that you want to calculate. That's how you go about calculating them based on the percentages 
that you want from each of your, from each of the macronutrients in your diet. And I recommend you start with 40, 30, 30, and then you adjust from there. Okay. And again, if you want more information on exactly how to make those specific adjustments and kind of some more detail about uh, this whole process in general, you can check out your naked nutrition guide at microcell.com. So that's going to wrap it up for today's reader question that was submitted to our support desk. How do you go about calculating your macros? If you have any questions, post them below the video and please subscribe to the YouTube channel and visit the blog at microcell.com. Thanks a lot guys and have a great day.